Hi, Gary. Hello. You're number 19. They said yes. it wouldn't last nearly this long. <laughs> um, you know, last year on opening day, the talk was about Hall of Famers in the rotation and a, a question mark in the number three spot. Well, the question mark turned out to be Kodai Senga, who was just fantastic, but he's not here because he's on the shelf with a shoulder issue, and the pro Mets probably won't have him for the first month to six weeks. So with what's left in the rotation and with the way they look this spring, how confident are you that these guys can hold the fort? Well, I, I think I'm pretty confident. Uh, you're starting a, a veteran today, a guy that you know is going to throw strikes and execute the game plan. But I think really the two guys I'm looking at, I looked at them this offseason because they had such a big upside, and that's Severino and Minaya. They both had real strong spring trainings, particularly Severino. And I think if they return to their all-star form, then I I think the rotation is fine but in today's game most teams routinely use 12 to 15 starters during the regular season so the depth is going to be as important as the first five guys who start well not only Senga not here for opening day but J.D. Martinez whom the Mets signed late needs some time to ramp himself up but eventually he'll be here to be protection for Pete Alonso in the lineup but we saw a big drop off for Pete in his batting average last year and I wonder whether he gets more pitches to hit so he can chase less with J.D. behind him. Well, J.D. is definitely going to help anybody uh, in in Major League Baseball with him hitting behind whatever the whoever the hitter is. It's going to help Pete. Remember, Pete had his worst slump of his career a whole month. I believe it was June. And that really affected his batting average overall. He still hit the 40-plus home runs. He's got a body of work now. I've always said he's a modern-day Harmon Killebrew. Uh, and I think that uh, he's going to have a bounce back year average wise. There's a lot of upside in the Mets lineup. Uh, McNeil, you figure, is ready for a bounce back year. Marte is healthy. But then there's Francisco Alvarez, who burst on the scene last year and hit 25 home runs. And it looks like he's ready for another step forward. Well, what impressed me most about him was if you look at his season last year, is he had a great month, then he had a under 200 month, then he had a bounce back month, and then he had another month where he, where he slumped off. And that shows resilience, particularly with a rookie. Because let me tell you, if you go in a slump, I don't care who you are, for a month, that's going to knock your confidence, and particularly in a rookie. And he showed me a lot of resilience. The 25 home runs, I think this is his second year he's going to build on it and certainly looking to build on other things as well his English is far better than it was and he's made a lot of strides defensively in spring training he threw out eight base runners trying to steal that's been a big part of his focus you know Gary he said there were two things he really wanted to work on in spring training his relationship with the pitchers that had to be daunting last year to have to deal with both Verlander and Scherzer now a little more even footing for him this season with the starting pitchers at least and more importantly last year he only threw out 13 percent of the runners average in the, in the America, uh, major leagues is around 19 percent he's got too good of an arm not to be at the 20 plus level he worked really hard on it and you saw it in spring training. You know, one area where the Mets figure to be a lot stronger this year is the bullpen. They've um, certainly brought in some interesting arms to get to the end of the game, but the most important thing is that when they get to the ninth inning, this year Edwin Diaz will be there. When you think about last season, you think about how everyone's shoulders kind of dropped when Diaz got hurt in the World Baseball Classic, and you're just expecting him to do what he did in 2022 when he had one of the best seasons a reliever has ever had in baseball. I don't think it's going to be that easy. It might be a little of, of small steps in the beginning. Whenever you have an injury as a pitcher, um, it takes some time sometimes to get that all of that stuff in sync. He's a whirling dervish kind of a pitcher, all arms and legs. So look to him maybe to have a tough, you know, tough time. But after that, he should be great because his stuff plays. The one thing I tell these guys all the time, Gary, is when the expectations are highest for the Mets, things don't always go well when expectations are down that's when this team seems to thrive